It is a lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Nate Diaz. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing yes. every three months. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jiu-jitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted as he's shown on a number of occasions, a fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not gonna out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not gonna out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar uh, to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Diaz is four years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA. He is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz. And now we produce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. Despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spots. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. 
overall, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. A punch over the top. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents. And this looks like the start of that. Left hand counter. Turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He blocks the punch. Just missed with the left there. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, nice. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. 26 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Let's go. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Effective punch there by Diaz. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Right hand upstairs. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big leg kick land. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, a huge block there. Big call for land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, straight to the body by Diaz. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh. Big head kick. Seconds left. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Effective punch there by Diaz. Whoa! Now, how about those five minutes? All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round, and how about the cut on that eyebrow? Oh, man, that's hard to look at, even for me. It's gotten really, really bad here. You gotta think they're gonna call the doctor in here, and if it gets any worse, you gotta think they have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. 
Ready to fight. Ready. Good. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Here's the kick blocked by Diaz. Big head kick lands. That one snuck in. Nice strike. The right hand just misses. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best football fighters in the UFC. Nice knee to the body by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, lands another punch there. He's not a mean guy. He's just doing a smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut. John, I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counting as we go forward. Nice head kick. Liver kick. Left hand punch from the clinch. Good punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Oh! Well, Nate Diaz in a pretty good flow state here early, DC, as he's able to land that jab yet again. He lands that jab over and over again, and it's not like he's throwing it hard. He's throwing it just to touch you every single time. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they set it. Nice defense there. Huge block. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. Right on the button. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Diaz. Big power shot there. Leg kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jabs, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, could be trouble. Yeah, he starts punching him with the jab over and over again, and then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his opponent. Punch. Diaz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man! 
look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Uh, hey, stop. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice punch, Lance. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Well, now if you're the opponent, you've really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Nice one-two there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And he landed the right hand there. He didn't like oh. that left hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! Lee gets stung by that leg kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Switching stances here. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Diaz gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Nice loop of punch. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Diaz is entered by a deep shade of purple at this point. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rest. And that one certainly found the target. He lands another punch to the head. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Body kick now by Lee. Back and forth we go. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Slips the left hand. Pretty good job by him there to raise the guard and block the strike, keeping those hands up to protect that cut in around the axe. He has to keep his hands up. This is not by choice. This is mandatory. Whoa! What a fantastic throw to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Overhand block there by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, straight right. Slips to avoid the run. Diaz's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got... Right now, it looks like 
like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. My triangle, my triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. All he's gone. He's gone. he's gone. he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestling stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow them to get the hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. So get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Big kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Leg kick checked by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Lands the right hand. Sneaky head kick. All right, so that one appeared to stun him. News hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. He's done. He's done. Those guys landing with conviction now. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Beautiful strike. Just misses with the jab. Watch knees to the body. Just unable to quite find that range. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Blocks the shot. Oh, kick. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, no. he didn't like that left hand. And now he lands a combination. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, 
but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 51 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate Dean. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.